Hello everyone and welcome to the latest version of Shimiji available as always from Kilkacon.com. Head on over to Kilkacon.com slash Shimiji and click the download now button and you'll get the latest version of Shimiji for your very own. As always to keep it up to date you need to get the jar file, the library folder and inside here grab all the properties files except for settings and then you'll be up to date. But moving on from there, let's show you what's new. It's been a bug fix release, but a few features as well. The first of which, is, as you can see here, the Shimiji Image Set Chooser has appeared automatically. So if I click Use Selected, I can show you the new option here in our settings. You can see Always Show Chimi Shimiji. While that's turned on, every time you start this up, you will get um, the ability to choose which Shimiji you want for the day. In, speaking of the Shimiji Set Chooser, if we have more in here and we keep the current one selected, it'll actually keep this one out. It won't automatically uh, reload it. So um, only new ones will be loaded or unloaded as appropriate. On top of that, in our unused folder here, this will now be a case insensitive check for the unused folder name. Also, folder starting of a dot will also be ignored by the Shimiji chooser. So pressing on from there, another issue I can show from the reveal statistics menu, which has had a new edition of the window title. Uh, the invisible window glitch has been fixed, which has been uh, quite a tricky one to solve, to be honest. But you should have, if you're on Windows 10 or newer, uh, less instances of Shimiji crawling up the middle of the screen and things like that, which was happening when there was a window that was minimized, but Windows wasn't reporting it as such. It's all too complicated, I'm not going to go into it, but nonetheless that has been addressed. So uh, the next thing that's been addressed is some issues with the move between screens uh, tick box. Now I'm not going to promise that this is working perfectly, but it will be an improvement. So you could, as you can see this is turned off. So the first thing is if we just call a bunch of Shimiji in here, you notice they're all appearing on the screen that I'm showing you and not on my other monitor. So that's the first adjustment. The second is if we use reveal statistics here, actually already doing that, but if we say we open up the window, this menu here, this is the currently active menu, window, but if I then drag this to the other monitor, it no longer counts as a valid window, so they can't interact with it anymore. So that should help keep them a little bit more obedient. It's not going to be 100%, but it will be an improvement. The next little improvement, if we get one of these uh, chaps to just uh, yeet this off screen, there you go, look at him go. Yeah, oh, it's gone to all sorts of interesting places, but nonetheless, the store windows actually works. So this mid, this button actually does something. It was completely broken. I don't know how it was ever working, frankly, but it is now going to work. Um, so enjoy it. When your windows are gone, you can actually bring them back again now. Next is the dismiss all others option here which the peculiarities of dismiss others meant that it would dismiss other types of Shimiji, but not the one you necessarily had. Um, well, that, that's off for an adventure again. <laughs> but it wouldn't dismiss all of the others. So this now will just literally eat everyone else out. So that's, that's that. And now, to, uh, a little bit more for the artists out there. We have a new feature for the XML. So if you are using the dragged action and you have a character that's a little bit more off center, as you can see here, I'm actually holding this character off center. It's not where my mouse cursor is actually to the left. And that's because of this here, this new offset parameter on the dragged action. So if you XML buffins out there, the default is 120 for the Y and the X will be zero. And that and it works off of the origin. So the, the anchor rather. So it's, a, it's an offset of the anchor. So this 120 means 120 up from the base of the anchor, the anchor, and then 22 to the left. So that's allowing you to have a bit more flexibility when it comes to your dragged actions. Finally, there's been a security fix to Shimiji. I don't want to go too much into detail because I don't want to have people making use of this vulnerability. Nonetheless though, if you can get yourselves up to date, that would be fantastic. That covers all the new content in this particular version. It was meant to be a bug fix, but it sort of ended up creeping other bug fixes as well. So it's a bit of a mix and match. Nonetheless though, if you are interested in supporting the project, do head over to the Patreon page and you can uh, check that out as well. Nonetheless though, thank you all for watching. Enjoy the new version and have fun with Shimi G.